Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm actually revisiting my first video where I showed how to create mesh for Quixel Bridge Atlas in Blender. The only problem with that method is that you need to create the mesh in Blender and then import it back into Unreal Engine for whatever you want to use. There's a simpler way to go about doing that. You can actually create the mesh within Unreal Engine and I realized this recently but they have got really useful modeling tools to do such simple stuff. And today I'm going to quickly run you through that and hopefully it's going to be helpful for whoever is still using Unreal Engine 4.27. So let's get started. Before anything, just go into edit and into plugins and simply look for modeling. That's modeling tools editor mode. It's in beta so don't worry if it gives you a warning message. Just say yes to that and restart the engine. Once you're back, Unreal Engine is going to compile a whole lot of shaders but you don't need to wait for that. What I'm going to do is create a new level just like that and bring in a plane. We are not players here, we are creators and we don't need player start so I can delete that. Rotate the plane forward so that it's easier to work with. I'll reduce the camera speed just because I need to chop off a lot of stuff later. So that's the plane we have and that's Quixel Bridge. So as you know, atlases are basically textures laid out on a simple plane. I already downloaded that so I'm going to go and export it into my Unreal Engine project which is currently open. And I'm choosing the one with the least cutting to do because I'm a bit lazy here. You can go ahead and do more grunt work if you like. Once it's in there, you can directly drag and drop the material on the plane and it's gonna become like that. So in order to improve that, let's just rotate the plane 90 degrees and now when you save it later, hopefully the mesh should get saved like that. But now, in order to chop it and actually make a mesh out of it, here is what we need to do. With that selected, here on top of modes, go into modeling. And in there, you need to go into transform, I guess. Go to select and it's going to... Oh yes, before that, do not forget to remesh it. So it's going to ask you how many triangles you want. Uh, you want to keep it short, probably 2000 works good enough. So keep that, accept that and that's good. Now you can go to transform and select reduce brush size as you like, just so that you can select stuff you want to remove. Bigger isn't better here, just so you know. So just like that. Select stuff. Okay, I'll just go a bit more in like that. You don't need to be really smooth here, you can be as rough as you want. Just make sure you don't select any of the places where the leaf is actually in it. So if by chance, let's say you do that, right? Then just hold shift and click and it should get rid of the selection. Just a quick tip there. Go down and select this side. And can I reduce the brush size a bit more? Yes. Just go through the middle area. So I'm just going to quickly do that so I can show you what it's like and not worry too much. I mean, obviously when you're working on a project, you would want to be careful, but since I'm just showing you, I can be a bit hasty. So once you've done that, interestingly, there are mesh edit options here, and you can just delete triangles like so. And also, now you can increase your brush size and select all of those lovely triangles and simply separate triangles and that creates another mesh select those little puppies and separate triangles that's another mesh and that's the third mesh accept it get out so now you have three different meshes to play with right so let's just rename them as one Let's just rename that as 2 and let's just rename that as 3. So we have 1, 2 and 3. 
Now to make them more interesting because they're just like flat planes now, click on one of them because we need to add in more variation. While still in that, go to deform and select this place. And it's going to displace using Berlin noise, so just, whoops, mm, actually something like 1 works wonders. You can do 1.5 if you want more, or you can go crazy with it. It's up to you. I feel 1 point something like that works, so accept that. It's going to do that. Uh, select that, displace same, accept. Select the last one, displace, accept. So once it's done that, you can also very simply just grab that. I'll just remove the snapping so that it's easier to align. And maybe rotate like that a bit. And get it done. Something like that. Grab that. Bring it in closer. To rotate it down maybe. Something like that. Bring it down. Like so. And maybe just take it a bit back. Cool, looks like a plant, yep. So now what you do is select all three of them using control, right click, merge actors. And basically it says replace source actors, so it will just replace them, merge actor. It says where you want to save them, wherever you want. Call it fern, plant, mesh for example, just save that. It's going to merge, shouldn't take too long. I think for me it's compiling shaders, that's why it's taking ages. It's not a game. It's a but once that's done, you can close that and it says it's foreign plant mesh now. So if you open that up, you should see your plant there. And now, if you delete that and let's say I go out a bit and I want to populate this region with my plants. So now I can go into foliage mode, drop my foliage there, select that, increase the density to something like 500 and I don't need that. And voila! So see? You know you can obviously increase the noise and do whatever you want, but with that you should be good to go. So this is a small and quick video to show you guys that now you can create mesh for your plant atlases within Unreal Engine itself and it should be good to go. Let me know in the comments if this was useful to you. Don't forget to like the video, it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you again in the next one. Have a great day.